Hey, this is Mr. Willis, and here's a couple basics to get you started with Google Slides. So when you first open a new slide, it's going to look something kind of like what you see here. Uh, they will usually start you out with some sort of a title slide. Uh, before you get started, this actually though is a good time to decide on what the theme is going to be because that will affect where pictures and uh, text and other things line up as you go through the rest of your slideshow. So they'll, they should have the themes over here on the right. They'll automatically appear when you open up a new slideshow. You can just roll down, click on a theme that you like, and it's going to apply that theme. Now just in case it's gone for some reason, maybe you click it away or something, you can always get back to it by going to the word slide up at the top and change theme. Okay, slide change theme brings this up. Once you've settled on a theme, then you need to make sure that the layout of whatever slide you're doing is correct. And so you can do this by going to slide and apply layout. Now right now it's showing me a title slide, which is probably what you want for the first slide of your slideshow. In fact, I can tell you, yes, it's what you want. All right. Um, for later slides, if you ever need to change the layout, you can come right here and change that. I'll maybe show that to you later. Once you've got all that uh, decided on, you may then go ahead and start uh, filling in this first slide. Where, it's, where you have this section, where it says click to add title, this should be the title of your slideshow. So if I am doing a slideshow about um, different animals, then I would call it animals. The subtitle is usually some sort of a um, follow-up, like a common one that your teacher may have you do. But by the way, check with your teacher, Mr. Willis, or one of your other teachers, whoever is giving you this assignment, and ask them exactly what they want on the subtitle. Often, what I like to do is say, by Mr. Willis, or you might have your name, or if it's a group project, put the name of everybody involved. And that's the basics for setting up a title slide. Um, if you want, you can add other things like pictures and stuff to it. Usually, that's not a common thing to do on the title slide. Usually, you don't start adding extra pictures until the later ones. Um, but if you want to, you can still add a picture over here. A uh, couple ways to do that. Number one is click on the image button up at the top here. It says insert image. You have a Google image search built right in. If you have something that you've uh, downloaded on your computer, you can go to Upload and click on that, and that's if you've saved a folder on your computer. If you found a picture on a certain website, um, you can copy and paste the URL from that picture into this box. So that's another way, another way to find it. I'll do maybe that in a, in a different video if you want to see exactly how that works. But for the most part, the search is going to do you fine. And so if I'm going to find a picture of some animals, I just type it in, hit the search button, and there we go. Who doesn't love a picture of a couple of kittens? Hit the select button, and it's going to put in that picture. Of course, you want to make sure pictures are always resized to where they're not covering up everything else in your presentation. Um, but that's, that's the basics. Uh, from that, you can go on and add other slides, but I'll show you some of that stuff in a separate video.